Hello everyone. One of the blockchain initiatives within Hyperledger is Hyperledger Fabric. It utilizes smart contracts, has a ledger and functions as a means of for participants to manage their transactions, just like other blockchain technologies. The fact that Hyperledger Fabric is private and permission sets it apart from all other blockchain platforms. So here I am with a new video by Simply Learn on Hyperledger Fabric to give you a better insight of Hyperledger Fabric along with its concept. But before proceeding with the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So let's get started with the video. First, let's have a look at the topics that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will have an understanding of what Hyperledger Fabric is. Following that, we will have a look at some of the benefits of Hyperledger Fabric. After that, we will understand the working of Hyperledger Fabric. Following that, we will explore the transaction flow of Hyperledger Fabric. And at the end, we will have a look at some of the industry use cases of Hyperledger Fabric. So let's start with what is Hyperledger Fabric. Now the Linux Foundation launched Hyperledger Fabric in 2015 as an open source permission blockchain technology. Now it is a general purpose modular framework that provides distinctive identity management and access control features. As a result, it is appropriate for a range of business applications, including trade finance, loyalty and reward programs, track and trace of supply chains and clearing and settlement of financial assets. So technically speaking, it enables plug and play compatibility for components like membership services and consensus. So now that we have the understanding of Hyperledger Fabric, let's have a look at some of its benefits to better understand its functionality. So first is open source. The Linux Foundation is the host of the open source Hyperledger Fabric technology, which is a blockchain framework. The developer community is vibrant and expanding. Second is permissioned. Fabric network, which means that the identities of every individual who participates are known and verified. This advantage is especially beneficial in sectors like healthcare, supply chain management, finance and insurance where data cannot be accessible to unidentified parties. For instance, to protect consumer privacy, an insurance provider on an Hyperledger Fabric blockchain network can share customer claim data with authorized parties. Third is governance and access control. Fabric networks are made up of channels which are private subnets of communication between two or more particular network members. Through these channels, network users can conduct confidential and private business. Every transaction on the blockchain network takes place on a channel where each person involved must be verified and given permission to conduct business. This adds an extra degree of access control and is particularly helpful when members want to restrict how much information is made public, for instance, when rivals are on the same network. Fourth is performance. Because of its consensus mechanism, Hyperledger Fabric can support his high transaction throughput for enterprise grade use cases. Fabric is a permission blockchain system. Therefore, it does not have to deal with Byzantine fault tolerance which might result in slower network transaction validation performance. So now let's move on and have a look at the working of Fabric Network. So an open, tested, enterprise-grade distributed ledger platform is Hyperledger Fabric. It proposes unique privacy control so that only the information you want to share is shared with the permitted network users. The business processes you want to automate are documented in smart contracts with self-executing clauses between the parties that are written in lines of code. The code and the agreements contained therein exist across the distributed decentralized blockchain network. Because transactions are retraceable and irreversible, organizations can trust one another. Due to this ability to quickly make better judgments, organizations can save time, money and risk. 
So now that we know the working of hyperledger fabric, let's understand its transaction flow. So first, when a client application sends a transaction proposal to peers in each organization for approval, the transaction flow starts. Second, the peers confirm the identity and legitimacy of the submitting client to submit the transaction. After that, they simulate the result of the proposed transaction and if they match what was anticipated, they send the customer an endorsement signature. Third, once it has the required number of endorsements as specified in the endorsement policy, the client gathers recommendation from peers and transmit the transaction to the ordering service. And lastly, in order to comply with the endorsement policy, the ordering service verifies that a transaction has the required number of endorsements. The accepted transaction are then chronologically ordered, bundled into blocks and sent to peer within each organization. The ordering service sends new blocks of transaction to peer nodes who subsequently do a final validation on the transactions in that block as soon as this is finished, the ledger state is updated and the new block is added. The fresh deals have been committed now. So that we have covered all the necessary details regarding Hyperledger Fabric. Let's have a look at some of the industrial use cases of Hyperledger Fabric. So the first one is supply chains. Now supply chains are vast dispersed network of suppliers producers and retailers by boosting the transparency and traceability of transaction within the network hyperledger fabric networks can enhance supply chain procedures companies who have access to the ledger on a fabric network can see the same unchangeable data enforcing responsibility and lowering the possibility of counterfeiting then comes trading now Importers, exporters, banks, shipping companies and customer offices are just a few of many institutions that must collaborate in order for trade to take place. Now financially and trading consortiums can simply build a blockchain network using Hyperledger Fabric where all the participants can conduct business and handle trade related documents electronically without the need for a central trusted authority. In fact, contrary to other processes which require players to exchange trade related documents back and forth, taking 5 10 days to complete. Next is insurance. Now, the insurance sector loses billions of dollars each year to fraud, but using Hyperledger Fabric, insurance co companies can use transaction data stored on the ledger to spot duplicate and fabricated claims by leveraging smart contracts to automate payment from the at fault party back to the insurance company blockchain can help speed up the processing of multi-party subrogation claims so this brings us to the end of this video well this was all about hyperledger fabric if you have any questions regarding this video please feel free to ask them in our comment section our team will reach out to you as soon as possible hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new from it Thank you and stay safe. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.